Osteosarcoma, or osteogenic sarcoma as it's called, is the most common bone tumor that affects children and young adults. It's a devastating disease, and although there has been progress over the years, the progress has been relatively slow and has come to a point of being a plateau. So the cause of osteosarcoma is truly unknown. Most cases of osteosarcoma are sporadic, meaning that they just happen in the general population, and we don't know the underlying cause. The outcome of osteosarcoma really hasn't changed in the past three to four decades. For children who have localized disease, when they're initially diagnosed, 65% of them are survivors, but 65% isn't enough. What we had done when we were developing Texas Children's Cancer Center was to decide that we were going to focus to a great extent on those diseases that are the most difficult to treat. We think with today's academic environment, technology environment, where there's so much more we can learn about the biology of these particular diseases, and specifically osteosarcoma, we can really identify targets that can be effectively treated. We have multiple laboratories and multiple investigators, that, that is researchers, who are looking at this disease to determine what's the biology of it, um, what are any unique elements or features of the disease that can be treated with a particular approach, whether it's chemotherapy or immunotherapy. In fact, immunotherapy seems to be one of the most promising areas of research. Immunotherapy is one method of treating disease by harnessing the patient's own immune system. Our center uses T-cell therapy, whereby you can take the patient's own T-cells and manipulate them to be targeted toward a specific tumor antigen or protein, something specific for the tumor, and then give those T-cells back to the patient to attack the tumor. But because those T-cells are from the patient, they won't attack the patient's own body. So the goal would be to decrease toxicity, but increase cure. As physician scientists interacting and caring for our sarcoma patients, our osteosarcoma patients, we're firsthand seeing you know, what's effective and what's not being effective for these patients. And hopefully we're also learning at the same time where are some of the deficiencies that we can then enhance. What's, what's failing in these patients, which we've learned a lot over the years, but can we learn more from what the patients and their biology is telling us and then feeding it back to the bench and bring that to better understanding. We're on the cusp of being able to make discoveries that will enable us to find more targeted therapies for diseases such as osteosarcoma. So I think there's a lot of promise on the horizon. Patients with bone tumors are unique in some ways because not only do we have to treat their cancer and hopefully get rid of the cancer, but because they have to have surgery that affects typically their leg, they oftentimes may have functional defects as well. So for example, they may have trouble bending their knees or extending their knees. They may have trouble walking and doing other things um, because of the surgery. We're very fortunate in that we have tremendous expertise in our orthopedic oncology team to be able to put in, when they remove the bone, an expandable prosthesis that we can increase that or lengthen that as the patient grows so it doesn't involve subsequent surgeries so that they can do as many activities of daily life um, as possible going forward. And we've been very fortunate over the past several years to identify new pathways, identify, interact with pharmaceutical companies or other laboratories here at Texas Children's and target these pathways and show that we may have some new therapies coming down the pipeline for the treatment of these pretty aggressive diseases. Patients with cancer come to Texas Children's not only locally, but from the surrounding states, from across the nation, and even from international sites. And that's because of some of the cutting edge therapies that we're able to offer our patients. We have more than six laboratories specifically dedicated to doing research in osteosarcoma. That's more than any other center I know of in the world that's looking specifically at many aspects of pediatric osteosarcoma. And because of that, we're able to make advances and move the field forward.